Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a little different. Instead of doing a makeup tutorial, I thought I would do a little haul. I recently had a birthday on April 25th. I turned 25, so I am now a quarter of a century and it was my golden birthday. So my family just gave me money so that I could purchase products as I wanted them because there's so many beauty things out there right now. It's so hard to decide, so I would just rather do it myself. So I thought I would just show you guys a little bit of what I got. So if you want to see that, then please keep watching. Okay, so first I went over to Camera Ready Cosmetics and I got the RCMA No Color Powder. I've been hearing everyone rave about this and it's much less expensive than the Laura Mercier powder. I would have used this when I did my makeup today, but I actually forgot that I had it and I was in a hurry. So I went ahead and used my Laura Mercier powder, but I'm excited to try this because it's supposed to be a great cheaper alternative. So yeah, I'll let you know how I like it. Next, I went over to Lady Moss and I got one random brush. This is the Morphe E36 brush. It's kind of a domey pencil type brush. I only have one of these, so I wanted another one. So I just got that, which is totally random. So then I bought some lashes. I got two different brands. I got Posh and Coco. So from Posh, I got the number 102s. They look like this. I already cut down this top one, but the bottom one is how it comes. And they're just really long and wispy. They're thicker, like denser towards the base. And they get fluffy and wispy on the ends, and they kind of crisscross at the tips. I don't know if you can see that, but a lot of the lashes that I got are wispy and crisscrossy at the tips like that. So again, those are the Posh 102s. Then I got the wispies, which are a lot more of a natural lash. They're not as thick or long and dense. So those would be a great everyday type of lash. Um, I haven't had to cut these down. And then last from Posh, I got the number 38s, and these are just really spiky. I don't have any lashes like these, so I thought I would try them out and see how I like them. They're not super long, they're just really spiky and separated, as you can see. So those are number 38s. So then I went over to Coco Lashes, and I got 102s, which are kind of just, I don't know, a standard natural lash. They're a little bit more dramatic than a natural lash, they're like a little bit longer as you can see but they're not really dense at the base and long and wispy like the last couple were so those are the 102s then i got the misha lashes which i think are also a great everyday lash they're a little bit more than the 102s they're kind of like sectioned off i don't know if you can see that if my camera will pick it up but as you can see they're in like little sections and then they kind of fan out, so I think those are going to be really pretty. Then I got the Queen Bee Lashes, and these are a couple different kinds of lashes, I think. Like, as you can see, they're kind of spiky and sectioned, but then, if, I don't know if you can see on the camera, I'll try not to blind you guys. Towards the end, they're really thin and long and wispy, and they kind of crisscross, so I think that will be an interesting lash to try. And lastly, I got these Style Soho. They're not in the box because I am wearing them right now. I don't know if you can see them. As you can see, they're pretty long when I look up. They kind of touch my eyebrows. They're just really long and wispy lashes. So that is the Style Soho. So the one thing I do want to mention about these lashes is the band is a lot longer than I thought it was going to be based off looking at them online. Um, maybe I just have really small eyes, but I think the only pair I didn't have to cut down were the Misha from Coco and then the Wispies from Posh. All the other ones were really long. Um, a couple of them kind of sucks to have to cut them down. These, the Sohos, they're kind of uh, symmetrical so they're a little bit shorter and they gradually get longer and then they go back down to shorter. So um, to keep them symmetrical you have to cut at both ends but then you're going to end up with lashes that are too long for the inner corner, so you kind of just have to cut from the outside, which loses symmetry, but they still look okay, so just keep that in mind. The bands are a lot longer than you think they would actually be. So then I went over to the Sephora website, and I was using the Anastasia Brow Wiz, and one day I turned it and no more products came out, and I went to brush through my brows with a spoolie, and the spoolie broke, so that was my sign. 
it's time for a new one. So rather than getting another of the regular Brow Wiz, I went ahead and got the Brow Definer. If you haven't seen this before, I'll show it to you. The Brow Wiz is just a really slim pencil, but the Brow Definer is wider like that, and it's kind of, I don't know if you can see it, it's a triangle shape. So it's supposed to be a lot quicker and easier at filling in your brows. So I used it today, and it seems okay. I'll probably have to use it a few times to really form my opinion on it and see how I like it. Um, but I got that. Then I finally went and purchased the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette because I am way behind the bandwagon on this. So I'm sure you've seen this a thousand times, but this is what it looks like. And I used it today. I mixed together these two shades for my contour and then I used the middle yellow shade for underneath my eyes. So I can't really say much about it right now because today was the first time I've used it, but I will continue using it and see how I like it. Okay, so last but certainly not least, I know I am not behind the bandwagon on this one because this just came out and everyone has been raving about it and it is the Anastasia Glow Kit and I got the one in that glow. It's the more goldy bronzy one. Looks like this. As you can see, I have swatched all of them. And I gotta say, the packaging for this and for the Kat Von D palette, they're really good quality. They're a lot thicker and heavier than I thought they were gonna be, so that's really good. And then I used this today, of course, and I mixed the yellow color Sunburst with Dripping in Gold. And I put that on my cheekbones and above my brow center of my nose, my cupid's bow, all the usual places, so I don't know if you can see that. So I'm excited to keep trying this out, especially for spring and summer. You usually want to be more dewy, glowy, bronzy, and I really needed some more highlighters anyways. So again, I used this for the first time today, and I will keep using it and see how I like it. Oh, and I almost forgot one more thing. Um, I didn't purchase this myself, but my mom got it for me, and it's the shirt that I'm wearing right now. Let me stand up and see if you can see it. It says makeup artist because freaking miracle worker is not an official job title and I thought it was so funny when I got it in the mail um, my mom lives in another state so when she sent it to me I was like that is just she gets me so yeah that is all I got um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video maybe you got some ideas for your birthday or someone else's birthday that is coming up and thank you so much for watching I will talk to you guys soon bye